Okay, today we're going to build the Larson Scanner, which is a circuit that sequences LEDs to produce a scanning effect. And uh, you may have seen this effect uh, on the car in Knight Rider or the Cylons from Battlestar Galactica. Uh, the circuit consists of a 555 timer IC configured uh, in the A stable mode of operation that will produce a clock signal to clock our uh, CMOS 4017 decade counter. The uh, 1 of 10 output from that decade counter will be uh, uh, decoded with some diodes and that will then power our 6 LEDs and produce the scanning uh, effect that we desire. As you can see the circuit has changed from the previous circuit I had on YouTube. Uh, the reason for the change is uh, there are some unnecessary components and it made it a bit more complicated and used more parts and we don't like that so uh, got rid of the transistors uh, just the capacitors right across the uh, diode and limiting resistor was enough to produce the uh, fading LED effect that we needed and uh, it reduced the complexity of the circuit uh, quite a bit as well as a few changes to the uh, timing values so that we use um, more common components, uh, more common uh, capacitor values. So uh, yeah, the circuit got a bit simpler and uh, should make it easier to build and it should keep it neat looking on your uh, PCB or breadboard. Here's what we're gonna need to do this project. Uh, we're gonna need some tools here. So we've got our breadboard, uh, needle nose pliers, and wire strippers slash cutters. Uh, we're also gonna need a battery or a power supply. I'm going to use a power supply to power the circuit. Uh, you might want to need a uh, battery clip with the, if you're using a battery, but uh, whatever. Um, wire, various uh, bits of wire. I'm using solid uh, gauge 20, yeah, gauge 20 uh, solid insulated wire. Uh, as for parts, you can see here we've got our 555 timer, 555 timer IC, our CMOS decade counter, the 4017. Uh, we've got six 47 microfarad electrolytic capacitors to make our LEDs fade. Uh, for our timing capacitor, we have a one microfarad electrolytic capacitor. We've got, of course, our six LEDs, ultra bright red LEDs. We've got six 470 ohm, one quarter watt. Uh, resistors to limit the current to our LEDs. For our timing resistors we have a 1K and a 47K, they're both quarter watts. And of course we've got our 10 um, diodes to decode the output of the uh, 4017. Uh, I'm just using uh, the 4007, uh, the 1N4007 diode. Um, you can use a signal diode or any of that, any of the four uh, 4000 series diodes. Uh, I just like these ones because the leads are big and they stay in the breadboard. They don't just move around on you and short out like the uh, signal diodes can. So uh, that's everything. Okay, let's begin. So here's my 555 timer. I'm just going to put him three spaces from the edge of the board here and make him face that way so the notch is facing that way. Here's my uh, Decade counter, the 4017, 4017. I'm going to leave uh, four spaces from the 555 timer and I'm going to put the, the notch that way. Uh, let's start putting my LEDs in here. Actually, no, I'll start off resistors because they're easy. Okay, so put the, uh, I'm going to move this light switch here. Put my resistors in for my LEDs. I'm going to put them over here. Uh, so they're going to go to ground, so the negative bus. Uh, just putting this one uh, right two spaces away there. And I'm just going to try to space them out a little bit because there's six of them, so I need room. So uh, I'm going to leave. Uh, let's move that one. I'm going to leave four spaces between each uh, between each resistor. So I got my resistors for my LEDs in there, going to the negative. Uh, let's get my LEDs, um, if I remember correctly, the anode's the long one, 
or that's the positive side and there's our negative side. So we're going to put the short lead negative side to the resistor and I'm going to make it um, go horizontally here like that so that the small lead is connected to the resistor going to ground. And then we just repeat that. Actually it would work a bit better if we kind of put them a bit diagonally gives them a bit more uh, resistance to coming out of the board and that will make it uh, easier to keep them straight oops bring that one up there there so we got our six LEDs and you can see they're uh, connected like that uh, now we're going to put our 47 microfarad capacitors in these will make the LEDs fade there we go uh, long lead to the LED, short lead to ground, and you can just bend them away like that because of the difference in the lengths of the leads. Let's double check that this is A47, good. And now for our diode logic. Now, take a look here. So we got our LEDs going through the resistors to ground, there's our capacitors, here's our diode logic. So the uh, far left one and the far right one only has one diode for uh, decoding it and that's just to stop it when the chip goes low from or discharging the uh, capacitors and not making the LED fade. So I'm just going to um, go ahead and put those in. So um, the band the lead with the band on it is going to go to the left side of the LED, the long, the long lead of the LED. It's also connected to the same um, long lead on the capacitor. So, and I'm just going to put that onto the uh, other side of the breadboard here, so I can connect wires like this. And same thing with the far left one. Do the same thing. There we go. So you can see, like so, like so. In fact, we can move this guy forward a bit. And okay. Okay, and now for all the other LEDs, they're always going to have two diodes. So we're going to have a bunch of diodes here. And we're just basically do the same thing. Both diodes, the bands, the leads with the band on them. Uh, are both going to be commonly connected to the long lead of the LED and the long lead of the capacitor. So this will be a bit tricky. Put them side by side. Make it look almost like the uh, the circuit, the schematic diagram. That way it makes things easy for us. Uh, I'm going to leave one space between them so we don't short out the diodes accidentally. Same there we go. So as you can see, we have, if you can focus here, common connection there, common connection there, common connection, common of the four in the middle, and they all are spaced out there. That guy shouldn't be that far out, but eh. Oh, we can use our needle nose for that. Tricky. There we go. So they all look nice. So that finishes off the uh, output of our circuit, the display portion.